Hey, now I'm Jack Brewer. We're here with Haunt New Game uh, Frostpunk. Although it's technically not new. It's been out for a while, but it just went out on a PS4, and that's what they were nice enough to send me a copy on. So the question is, it's a PC game, right? London Refugee. Nice. Mother to Claire. All right. So the real question becomes, uh, is it going to have the problem that all PC to console transfers have, which is way too small HUD elements and text. Because they assume anyone playing a strategy game is going to be sitting three feet away from a computer monitor, if that. But people who play console games are sitting eight feet away on a couch. And this never occurs to them, even if the TV's bigger. It's not that much bigger. See what I'm saying? Boom. Okay, I won't. Although there is a saving icon in the bottom. Oh, no, that's a loading icon. More than one workshop boosts your research rate. Good to know. Mmm, salad. Psst. That's right. All right, here we go. Temperature overlay, command radio, previous category, game speed increase. Okay, well. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon. Okay. The rulers oh. of strength, pride, and glory. Oof. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Oh, poor ladybug. Suddenly, without a warning. Or as British people call them, ladybird. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Damn, London took a beating, huh? Who remained came the time to nap. Tell me more. We decided to leave our homes and head north. It got super cold. Let's head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind Damn. all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope. Seriously, that why did you go north? Oh, were you trying to get to a volcano? Slowly. I'll say step this. Step by step. If the world, world got super cold, it wouldn't be a crazy idea to try to figure out where's the nearest we volcano the price. and go to live there. A hundred times. Oof. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Okay. Let's get this done. I don't know. No, they went to a generator. Okay. Let's get this done, peeps. Yeah, it does look a little like a volcanic crater. So maybe that's what it is. Although they call it a generator, not a... Uh, Okay. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Will do. Use the uh, panda zoom. Okay. Okay. Where can I find coal? Um, Alright, so... It's minus 20, that's not good. Steel wreckage, nice. Okay. 
that coal? No, it's still no coal. Wait, why did I not? Oh, I have to confirm? Of course I have to confirm. Or do I not have to confirm? Why didn't a job start like it does in the other one? I see. They're saying of the possible number of people you can put on the job. I get it. Look at the Merc. They're working their way through the snow to get there. That's so cute. I say cute. They're going to freeze to death. Oh, I found the coal pile. Uh, forget about the iron, guys. Need you to go get some coal out of this coal pile. We'll get that coal, please, and I turn up speed by doing that. Yeah. Okay, command menu, construction menu by pressing the radial or pressing X. Okay. Truck building, demantling, dismantle building, dismantle streets, build streets. Okay. I'll slow down time. So I can book of laws, economy, city info, construction, insulated tent for ten people to how, how much resources do I have? Oh plenty, okay. Two, three, and four. I have to build some houses for my people to live in. You know. Before they freeze to death. Uh, you know what? I love your work, guys, but maybe let's put you on the coal project. Until we get that generator working, then we can relax a little, maybe? Step one, do that. Step two, invent coal fusion. Oh, look at them go. Turn it on the shortcuts menu. Over to generate selection menu. Okay. Six units of coal per hour. Oof. All right. <coughs> Let's turn on that generator. I start the generator. Oh, I see. Woohoo! We did it! We started the generator. 180 per day, so... What is this energy statement about? Working 24 hours a day. How are you guys doing? You happy now? Generators off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep. You don't at least turn on for the night, of course. I I did turn it on. Oh, people have their free time, and then we'll turn off the generator when they go to sleep. Nice. I wouldn't want them to. Oh no, we're gonna run out of coal overnight. Oh, this is bad. and check the sickness will be undoing. Gotcha. Yeah, it's overnight though, so... Temperature overlay by pressing so-and-so. Temperature in building depends on the power setting of the generator. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold. Alright, so let's check out the comfortable. Well, you guys are all comfortable. What are you complaining about then? Yes, I'm well aware. So four people are sick, so let's set to building a new thing. You have a good night, Mr. Pug. Oh, you can make children work? That's rough. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Wait, I don't have the ability to build medical things. All 
right, so here we go. So everybody's getting to work on the coal pile. All right. How's our uh, stockpile of stuff doing? Yes, I know the generator is down. I'm trying to get enough coal to get it started up again. Actually, where can I see my resources? So I have 11 metal, 185 wood, and one whatever the hell that is. Okay. Come on, let's get that 200. Yes, we've got the coal we need. So when it gets to be nighttime, I can turn it back on. Uh, 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 no roof for it. I have a lack of shelter. They're falling off from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. I will provide shelter. For, I thought I provided shelter for 40 people. How many people do I have in this place? 80! I have 80 people? Oh my god. Okay, that's bad. I thought I only had 40 people. Uh, okay, sure. Not a problem. So that was bad. That was a bad situation overall. Yes, I know the generator's back on. When the sun goes down, I'll turn it back on. Come on, finish those tents. You can do it. We did it! Yes! Uh, facing demands, remember the people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. I will bear that in mind. Raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. How can I find raw food? Hunter's Hut or a hothouse? Build a cookhouse and start prepping meals. Will do. Everybody doing okay? Steel wreckage, nice. What is that 1580 at the top left? See, if this were uh, playing on PC, uh, If I were playing this on PC, I would just click at the top left and find out what's going on with that, but now I don't know how to get the information that's up there. Um, I think I read the Stephen King book Pet, Cem Pet Cemetery back in the day, and I have not seen the new movie. And I'm very cynical about the new movie, because the new movie was produced so the producers could hold on to the rights of the book Pet Cemetery, which is the worst reason to make a movie. Okay. Alright, so you need me to build a hunter's shack. Except I don't have a- oh, there's other kinds of buildings. Okay, that's embarrassing. Let's not talk about that. Uh, building streets. No, I did not mean to build it that way, but okay. There we go. I agree. No, right here. Alright, I think we're going to have enough streets to go around, or are we? Yeah, I feel like this game requires more precision than I'm really capable of doing with a controller. Although I can zoom in, right? Okay, that's going to make life easier. Are we good streetwise? We're good streetwise. Okay. Nice. In fact, let's uh, build a building here. Oh, I can slow down the camera. Nice. So let's build that medical tent they wanted. All 
All right, let's do it. How was the second movie? I was very cynical, because again, the reasons I said. Yeah, we need some food right now. Seriously, the winter hunter's going to be hunting. The whole world is frozen. Ten people are sick. That is not good. Okay. Now we got people working to get healed. Alright, so now it is the morning. You can turn. How's the heat map? It's a little looking awesome. I would hope so, Frank. Well, that's a downer. Thanks, Luke. Uh, all right, so let's build one of those hunters hut you were telling me about. So I have a hundred and seventy-nine something. Maybe that's coal. I have a hundred and fifty-nine something. Eleven, oh, wood. Eleven iron, one something. Okay, let's do some building, shall we? I know that the new one is very far from the source material, and that the uh, original is actually pretty close. I don't remember that many details about the original, sadly. So there's a hunter's hut. And now we're going to build a cookhouse. Ooh. One unit of food makes two delicious rations. Rations? Rations. Gotcha. Get to work, you lovable monsters. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind, build a beacon, scout Frostland, save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. Alright. Build a workshop, build a beacon, so rescue survivors of our lost expedition. Okay. So, we go into this. We're out of wood crates, everybody. That's a problem. People working here gather resources nearby coal pine. Oh, nice. Nice. And tech is workshop, and I need the workshop before I can build the beacon, right? Workshop it is. This thing is very smooth to play, I'll say that. Very easy to get started. Like I said, I haven't seen the new one yet, but I did like the first movie. I already did that. I know. I'm working on it. Alright, so. Alright, let's turn you off. Till night time. So how many idle workers do I have? 30. Nice. Let's get some more steel going, guys. Use the workshop to develop new buildings and improvements. Research groups and tiers. Oh, okay. Well, I would hope. Alright, so let's do some researching. Okay. Alright, what are we researching? Add new research. Do we have to do drawing boards? We literally have to start with drawing boards before we can do the rest? Wow. That's bad, but it does make sense. Uh, I have not seen Rose Red. What is Rose Red, if I may ask? Oh no! 
Forgot to sign people to the food to the hunter place and work and wood place. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad, everybody. I forgot to set up hunters. I am not good at this. All right. What's going on here? Sir, woman came forward in the workshop, said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city main group, so they're out there. Damn right we will. So, we let time go forward while people relax at the end of the day, and as things start to cool down, we will start the generator back up. No, I have to turn it on for the night. I'm not a monster. Wait, they're working? Where are those people going? Um, did a bunch of people just run off to die? Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. Okay. Good. What is this standard meal jive? Where did all of my heat go? But you're on. No, that's fine. I'm actually very confused now. What happened to all my temperature? Did I not turn the heat back on in time? Why is no heat getting out of the building? No, I know temperature's starting to make life really difficult. Why is temperature not leaving the... The furnace is on. The furnace is at full... Oh, there we go. Idle workers, 50 total. I'm so confused. 15 children, that's fine. Do you mean Rose Mater? Or is there a different Rose movie, Stephen King Rose movie, I'm not familiar with? Yeah, that's fine. Can anyone understand why the temperature is not leaving the... Yes, I know everyone's starving. I would like to get the cookhouse going. But I don't know how to get the temperature going. to get the temperature up in the hunter's huts, and now we can't. I'm very confused now. Huh. The citizen became gravely ill. Oof. Tell me more. Nope. Damn. Hmm. 
downs that you will have. Yeah, this is something that people always show up in post-apocalyptic fiction where it's like, then they're going to build, um, what do you call it? They're going to build fighting arenas. I'm like, no. People clinging to life do not like fighting arenas. People in decadent societies with no threat like fighting arenas. Rome liked fighting arenas. People who were suffering from the Black Plague did not like fighting arenas. And it's something completely invented by... Oh, I know. Radical treatments sustain life. Oof. Okay, radical treatment to sustain life. Damn. Radical treatment. Oh, so you can set your uh, policies whenever you want. Nice. And so tell me more about these soup additives. And soup instead of full meals to feed more people the same amount of raw food. Soup is good, though. Soup is better than full meals in a lot of ways. It fills your stomach completely. And you get the water you need. No? I think it's good. Then I gotta just generally like soup. So how's my... Okay, so we still can't get any temperature. What am I doing? Yeah, there you go. Yay! Drawing boards! Generator power, generator range upgrade. Because we gotta get some, uh... If we're gonna start getting some food... Which we desperately need... What's going on here? Is this guy ill? Uh, I did. We're going to use radical treatment to try and save their lives. We already talked about that, didn't we? Thought we did. Okay. The generator will explode. That's not good. Again, I don't really see why my, uh, why my temper, I've got the generator running. It should be providing temperature to everybody, but instead it's not providing temperature to anyone. Oh, because it's 40 below now. I didn't figure that out until just now. And no one can eat because the cookhouse isn't working. Gotcha. not going well, people. How's my coal supply doing? I got a ton of it. Good. Minus 40 is very cold. Alright, back to work, everyone. So, now, how's the research going? It is taking a sweet amount of time, isn't it? Come on. Go back to work. Four, three, two, one. All right, there we go. Let me guess, someone's freezing to death in the cookhouse. We're gonna we're gonna start doing soups. Sorry, everybody. I know you're not happy with the way I'm running things, but we're not doing well right now. So if you could just deal with some soup, that would be great. Wait, why can I not use engineers here? 
Okay. Yay! We increased the generator range. And yet only two buildings are livable. Okay, standard meal. Ethel oh, I've got names to the workers. Alright, so. Got 30 a day, we've got 80 a day. So I'm cooking 30 a day, but I need 80 a day. I see how the information here isn't super clear. Alright, so now let's also increase the generator's ability to. Uh, to power. We're out of steel? Oh, F. Get to it, my buddies. Three and a half hours for 45 steel units? That's plenty. And do I have any other idle workers? No, I do not. How's the coal situation? Plenty of coal left? Oh no! No. Damn. Well, yeah, obviously, but I have to. I see what's been happening. I haven't been holding stuff to sign it into law. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. I know you don't like soup, but we're not necessarily making soup. We just have the option of making soup if we need to. It would be difficult about this. Don't screw me on this, people. Okay, that was rough. Rose red on YouTube. Gotcha. So why are they not working? That's the part I don't understand. Oh, they don't have enough raw food. I see. You guys got enough workers at least? Nice. Uh, preparing for a hunt. Preparing for a hunt. Going to rest. Okay. There we go. Things are things are going well. I mean, they're not going well. But. Night is coming. Put down your food. Yeah. I'm worried about these guys. So, what is that eight at the bottom? 15 means 15 people are hungry, I get that. Eight, eight people, what? I thought I had houses enough for everybody. Maybe I don't. You know, if these people would be smart enough to sleep in shifts, we wouldn't have this problem. Just putting that out there. There's more than enough houses for everybody if they would just start sleeping in shifts. And two more people died overnight. This is going very poorly for me, everybody. But on the upside, we have less sick people. See, that was a horrible joke. Come on, wake up. You guys can do this. Yes, you should be grateful for what you have, you suppose. The world sucks, but you're all still alive, so stop complaining about it. Wow, I turned evil fast. What's all that? Oh, coal deposit. We have to build a coal mine. Wow. Oof. Ouch, horror king. Very cold. Work time. Get back to work. I don't want to come across like some kind of a taskmaster. Is there any more coal piles lying around? Oh, thank God. There we go. Come on, finish that power thing. 
to add new research. Drafting machines. It allows us to research the tier two technologies. Nice. Except I don't have enough lumber for it. And I don't have any citizens I can send. How's my supply of steel doing? Alright, I think I got plenty of steel. I mean, I don't know that that's true, but I do need some lumber, so what are you going to do? Alright! This is, uh, how shall I put this? This is not going well for me, but I do see the appeal. It's stylish, it looks great. No quick auctions available. Believe you me, I know that. It's stylish, it looks great, it's super depressing. And, uh, yeah, I could totally see why people get into this. I'm getting into it, and I, uh, how shall I put this? All I can feel is self-loathing. Because of how badly I've been managing this town. Damn, it's an impressive feat what these developers have done. Uh, anyway, we're going to call it here for now. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related to whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and or upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say au revoir.